for Stuart, Stuart Huff. Let him know. Hey, everybody. Thank you very much. <laughs> you guys look disappointed. This is it right here. If I had any more, I would have brought it. I'm originally from a tiny town in Tennessee, population not enough to have a Walmart. <laughs> yeah, and I love it. That's my favorite thing about this country, the back roads, you know? Get off the interstate, meander down a back road. I just get so damn happy when I see a hand-painted plywood sign nailed to a tree. It just says dirt. <laughs> Isn't that beautiful? Back roads, tiny gas stations, because new gas stations now have like 50 pumps. You fill up, you go in, you get a Subway sandwich, you get a CAT scan. <laughs> They're huge. I like those tiny ones that are just holding on. Just a little pump and munch. <laughs> All right, a little stop and rub. You walk up, that welcome mat's so worn in, it just says weenie. You go in, taped all around the register, Polaroid pictures of drunk guys holding up fish. I love the... Some proud redneck with a dead squirrel. <laughs> Somebody wrote underneath it, one pound, three ounces. That's a begging. There's one where I live, guys, this tiny little pump and munch up in the mountains. You walk in, the man behind the counter has on a midriff shirt. I'll repeat that. The man behind... Shirt? No shirt. It's a damn midriffer. It's not supposed to be. It's a 3X shirt is what it is. It's got a hell of a grocery locker. And apparently he's proud of it because he's got it laying on the counter and he's rubbing it. <laughs> you walk in, he's like, well, you won't. That's his sales pitch right there. <laughs> well, you won't. And you pull up to a big station, right? You're not even out of your car yet. They start shouting at you over the intercom, like, welcome to Flying J, Pump 9's now ready to go. I got gummy bears on sale, diet colors. You can come in and get a phone car. Call Mexico for 10 cents. <laughs> Well, you won't. <laughs> Isn't that better? It's personable. I think it's the character I like about it. That's what's left on the back roads, the character. I love shopping in small gas stations, too. You know, wedding gifts, anniversaries. <laughs> they got good shit, right? Help us Presley driver's license. You get a spoon that says Arkansas. Shit, yeah. Get a seashell glued to a stick. It's just a whole bunch of shit Big Lots just passed on. Got that one lonely hot dog just rolling. That's the saddest dog in the world right there. It's all bowed up, looks like a boomerang. Damn thing can barely make... He's like, man, we got a sale on hot dog. No shit, really. A shocker. The glass case is my favorite. That's where I have to use the credit. That's where they keep the good shit. The ginseng. Horny goat weed pills. And a sword. It's a samurai sword and a pump and munch. What kind of an impulse buy is that? Are people just strolling in? Hey man, give me 30 bucks on pump. Well, holy shit, give me a sword. <laughs> I've been walking around with this empty sheath. <laughs> look, it's on my list, man. Bread, bologna, damn sword. Look at there. I thought I was going to have to make two stops. You got a convenience store. It's a sword. First time I ever saw it, guys, I looked at it, I was like, damn, that's a weapon. Like, you ever sell any of those? Like, you ever had to reorder the swords? <laughs> He's like, what? <laughs> like, when would I need to own a sword? 
when would I need that thing? He cleared it up. He looked me dead in the eye and goes, Al, when you need it, you'll know it. <laughs> the hell does that mean? Five years from now, I'll be sitting in a car wash, some pirate ship's gonna pull up. <laughs> Avast ye matey, prepare to be boarded. <laughs> Shit, I'm gonna need a sword. <laughs> I'm about to be plundered. <laughs> if you're laughing at plundered, we're gonna get along. <laughs> this is it. It's my act. <laughs> I don't have any sex jokes. <laughs> you write what you know. <laughs> My sex bit would be like, I like it. <laughs> I'm kind of waiting for the next time to roll around. <laughs> I sit alone in my hotel room, plundered. That's funny as shit right there. <laughs> I'll be honest with you guys. I'd buy a jousting pole from a gas station. <laughs> Wouldn't you, man? If you went in, big pole, 1995, free bag of Funyuns. I looked that woman in the eye, give me two. You need two. You can't joust with one. That's just running with a big pole. I love jousting, especially in the movies. Medieval flicks, those things crack me up when they joust, because they always miss every single time. It's usually in slow motion too, right? It's supposed to be all dramatic. It's two guys on horseback, like <laughs> And then they miss, and they have to turn around. I'm like, how'd you miss? You got a 10-foot pole. <laughs> Whack it! The guy's running straight towards you. Just stick it out, clothesline his ass. <laughs> and you could probably just go like this and hit him. Wouldn't that suck to miss a guy jousting? You have a hundred pounds of armor on. You got your horse all nice and pretty. You're shouting trash talk to that little slit in your helmet. You're like, hey, thou doth not want any of this. Here I come, buddy. There he is, there he is, there he is, there he is. Shit, I missed him. T turn around, Pegasus, turn around. I don't see how you could miss, Jalston. A couple of weeks ago, I was driving back from Home Depot. I had six two by fours sticking out of my passenger side window. <laughs> Jalston is not that difficult. <laughs> That's it for me, everybody. Take care. Thanks, guys.